Bob in time again here on the Library Show. So I've just um, delabeled all of these bottles. I've actually had quite a few birthday and party events, so I've been getting through the beers. Um, yeah, just uh, spent all morning soaking the bottles, giving them a scrub. There's little bits of residue still on there, but not really an issue. So there they're ready, just got to give them a scrub inside and then we'll get some of my double inside bottled up. Fantastic. Got my lovely old bottling brush. I'm going to fill all these bottles up and just scrub them. Make sure all the debris is out. Okay, so that's 22 bottles for my 10 and a half litres of beer, so spare one or two there probably. And I'm just going to whack in the oven now. Um, just over 100 degrees, so you know, you want to kill anything in there, sterilise it, good, and it will also dry them out, which is, um, you know, not a bad thing. So let's get them in the oven. Right. So the oven is on, between 100 and 150, 125, you know, in the middle. I'm not sure how accurate the oven is, so I want it to be a bit over 100, but not too, too much. You go too hot, you're waiting longer for them to cool down. Right. Put them in, should all fit, hopefully. Do need to clean the oven. So, uh, apologies for the uh, the mess. Not usually like this. So... Leave them in there for a. 20 minutes or so. Let them get nice and hot and then turn it off, let them cool down. All my bottles are now cooled. So I'm just set here ready to prime with sugar. I'm going to go for about 3.5 volumes today because we want a good fizzy double. I'm just um, doing a gravity read in here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, one, oh, one. So that's final gravity, one ten. Right, so that should give us a uh, 6.3% beer by my calculations. Uh, the open fermenter, it smells good, it smells like a double should, how I expected. Um, so, nothing left to do now, but prime the bottles. So I'm doing 3.5 uh, volumes of CO2 in these. 
which is about 5.3 grams of sugar in each bottle. So, keep the old drug dealer scales out again. these nice and fizzy in that bubbly appearance. You see that little tang as well. bottles. Alright, bottles are all primed. Put my bottling wand on. Just gonna get them all done. Lovely you mention this. I think I say every time. That stops you having to turn the tap on and off and gives you like perfect amount of headspace in your beer. I think that is all I'm going to get out of there. Just get a little bit from this test jar. I'll fill the bottle up.
Right, that's 17 bottles of double there. Kind of a lot less than I thought by looking at the, the amount of liquid in the fermenter, but I don't know. Looks can be deceiving. I've saved some yeast for next time I brew with it. Well, if it's a good yeast anyway, I'll save it. And if it's rubbish, I'll throw it away. And I've also kept the yeast cake for my next brew, which is on, which is a triple. So, don't need to sanitize the fermenter. It's already been sanitized from the previous brew. I just chuck on the cooled wort once it's, once it's all boiled up. And that's another beer. Tons of yeast, so it should be really healthy, really, a really good fermentation, especially for a triple with um, I think eight and a half, nine percent, hopefully, ABV uh, targeted. So there's that. All right, all we've got left to do now is cap these bottles. So just check the caps out of the sanitizing solution. Stuck them on a nice clean tea towel. And uh, need my bottle capper. Would be handy, wouldn't it, to bottle this? So start with this yeasty. Concoction. I'll save that in the fridge. Next time we've got a Trappist style beer or a Belgian style beer, I'll be using that. Gonna make sure to check it's not gassing up. That's whole whole four bottles. I didn't need to wash that. Oops. Yeah, that cap's gone. That's why I do too much. I want extra caps as well. I'm always dropping them. Bloody fiddly things. So. Yeah, less beer than I thought there for some reason. I think my fermenter is lying with the volume somehow, even though it's been fine for all the other ones. Ugh, who knows? Who knows? There wasn't even that much yeast cake, so I'm not really sure. It evaporated when I opened it, this must have been what happened, you know, in that 10 minutes I was bottling or whatever it was. Two weeks under warm, two weeks condition, and I will check it then. Um, because it's a double and like it's quite dark, it's quite strong. You want to age it longer than the normal um, two weeks conditioning period. So I will check it after the four weeks, just um, just for a little taste test, you know, carbonation test. But after that, I'm going to put these away for two, three months, as well as my triple I'm making. So both of those two beers. They're more of a, probably an autumn beer for me. But they'll be stored away. I've got other beers to drink, I've got other beers to brew. And then, eventually we'll come back to this and give it a taste. Like, a proper taste. And that's it for today. Almost forgot, I've got a cheeky sample here. So, Might as well give it a taste, and it's not going to be as good as the finished beer because it needs a lot of conditioning. But that's all right. A little bit harsh because it's got a round out. So it's like you know, stronger alcohol and stuff. So it's uh, it's going to take a while to mellow out. But it's not like. It's not mega strong for you. Nice little tang to it. Mm. 
good raisin notes. Yeah, that's going to be a good beer. See you in three or four months, you buggers. Hey DJ, give me a beat. It's the Lion Blue Show, Trip 2. Do some gun and foraging stuff. Terrible raps. Like to subscribe and all that crap. <laughs>